Dring, dring. Dring, dring. Pick up. <laughs> Pick up the phone. Uh, oh, hello. Allô? Mm? Vanny, c'est Céline. Ah. Comment ça va? Ça va bien. Et toi? <laughs> Il m'est arrivé quelque chose d'incroyable. Uh, I, I've been working on my English recently. Will you want to talk in English just for laughs? Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it for lunch today. I'm sorry. I I met a guy on the train and I got off with him in Vienna. We're still there. Are you crazy? Probably. Well, what, what, he's Austrian? He's from there? No, 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 no. He's passing through here too. He's American. He's going back home tomorrow morning. Why'd you get off the train? Well, he convinced me. I mean, actually, I was... <laughs> I was ready to get off the train with him after talking to him a short while. He was so sweet, I couldn't help it. We were in the launch car, and he began to talk about him as a little boy seeing his great-grandmother's ghost. I think that's when I fell for him. Just the idea of this little boy with all those beautiful dreams. He trapped me. Mm -hmm. And he's so cute. He has beautiful blue eyes. Nice pink lips. Pretty hair. <laughs> I love it. This friend of mine had a kid. And it was a home birth, so he was there helping out and everything. But he said at that profound moment of birth, he was watching his child experiencing life for the first time, trying to take his first breath. All he could think about was that he was looking at something that was going to die someday. He just couldn't get it out of his head. And I think that's so true. You know, everything is so finite. I mean, but, but don't you think that's what um, makes our time and specific moments so important? Yeah, I know. It's the same for us tonight, though. After tomorrow morning, we're probably never going to see each other again, right? You don't think we'll ever see each other again? What do you think? Well, all right. Let's do it. No delusions, no projections. We'll just make tonight great. I've been with people and shared beautiful moments like traveling or staying up all night and watching the sunrise. And I knew those were special moments. Something was always wrong. I wished I'd been with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that what I was feeling, exactly what was so important to me, they didn't understand. With you. Oh, so you have been on a journey and you are a stranger to this place. <laughs> you are an adventurer, a seeker, an adventurer in your mind. You are interested in the power of the woman, in the woman's deep strength and creativity. You're becoming this woman. You need to resign yourself to the awkwardness of life. Only if you find peace within yourself will you find true connection with others. I couldn't possibly know why a night like this is so important to my life right now, but it is. Yeah, I've heard all those stories, so of course I'm sick of myself. But being with you, uh, it's made me feel like I was somebody else. <laughs>